Hey there everyone, what's up? It's you on the producer and I hope your day is going well. In this video, I'm going to be looking into Drambo, but it's not just me. I'm going to be bringing in a special guest who's going to go a little bit more in-depth into how the application works. So let's get to it. Wish. All right, so I'm hanging out with Gravitas right here and we're going to be exploring Drambo. Yeah. That's it. Many words for the people. Nah, let's get to it. Come on. <laughs> this is my like, yeah. Awesome. Right. Okay. Right, so um it, Sion has just asked me how all of this is like hooked up, wired up. So I'm gonna roll my sleeves. <laughs> roll up my sleeves for this. Okay, we've got we've got two iPads. Doesn't matter about the model, we have models as yet. We've got two iPads, we've got one, two, three, four audio interfaces. Two of them are normal, normal sort of portable interfaces. The other two audio interfaces are mixers. So they've got the USB audio interface inbuilt, which is very handy for things like calibrating and uh, you know, sorting out levels and all this kind of stuff. Summing as well. Because this one, uh, this Behringer here has got uh, two compressors, which are not the greatest, but they actually have their own tones. So I've got individual outs coming from the Zoom 3 and 4 for that. Next channel is the Zoom 1 and 2, so which I use more often than not. Uh, this channel here is the... Core Complete, no, it's not the Core Complete, it's the Native Instruments uh, Complete Audio 6, and that's here. There we go. There we go, and that's got four ins, analog, uh, four outs, analog, and two digital in and two digital out. And that's connected directly to my Zoom U44 via SP diff, which is the digital. There we go. Got that? Yep. Cool. Wicked. Let me just fling on some more light. Ring. Nice. Da, 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 da. Let's change color. I like this kind of thing. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's how it is in terms of that's the gear and stuff. The iPads through the external audio interfaces, the Zoom and the Complete Audio 6. They're summed in the Behringer. The Behringer then goes through to the Soundcraft Notepad 5. And the Notepad goes to my amplifier. And it goes to my iPhone at the top here, which I use to make my videos when I'm here at the table. Uh, uh, you know whatever it is um so that's all connected up through that way so i could just run a, a bus mix a master bus mix master bus mix and i can also run a direct digital mix straight from both machines nice yeah. so whatever goes in comes back out stuff it's really it's, it's really not i can really nice setup what i can do the the flexibility of uh, the thing about this that is so nice is the flexibility. I can take out either iPad and put in another iDevice on either side, or even put the iPhones in. It would still work. Whoa! Depend upon the depend upon the the uh, CPU of uh, the iDevices. Literally, take out, put another one in. Or an, a, another two in, it will work. So that's why the tablet doesn't really matter because you can just interchange them anytime. Yep. Nice. Yep, yep. So let's say, like, for instance, if this if, if this one goes, and you know, because it is slightly older, then I could literally boom. Stick that one there. Stick that one there. Blam. Done. Wow. And you don't have to like tear up anything or? No, 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 no. Don't have to tear up anything. Don't have to do If I need to, ch uh, when uh, I'm testing my projects that I'm doing, the um, a lot of my older projects are on this, on this iPad. Mm -hmm. So 
sometimes I want to record, you know, bring it back up and see what's, you know, um, see what's going on with that project if I want to develop it, if I it, it, even just listen to it. Mm -hmm. um, so I can literally do it, put it in there. If I need to use the controllers, if they've been mapped to that, then why change the machine or dial? Just, you know, just stick it in its place. <laughs> <laughs> and it's done. Um, and the, the thing about it is... Because of that sheer flexibility, um, I I don't have I don't I'm not limited to one machine. I'm not limited to one sonic sound space. I'm not limited to I'm not limited to the machines. It's just simply blah, 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 blah. okay, boom, done. Wicked. Let's make music. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> really simply. Um, yeah, and let's come up through there. Boom. The other thing about it is, uh, as uh, lightning, uh, the lightning USB lightning um, Dongle. uh, dongles <laughs> get phased out, it's uh, really cool because there's still enough of them around to be able to keep that, you know, long term. Mm -hmm. But literally, take out dongle, put in, uh, put in a USB C uh, adapter. You know, adapter, and boom. Uh, you know, so you don't have to change your work. I don't have to change my workflow or adapt my workflow to uh, you know it's future proof to a point. Nice. You know, the the USB interfaces are not going to phase out. I mean, like instantly overnight. Mm -hmm. um, USB A is not going to phase out overnight. So it's still here. It's you know it's so like this. It's I could just simply build upon. If I if I wanted to take these out, I'd put that out. Get a desktop, put a desktop or a laptop in there. Put those to one side. They're still connected up. Always constant flow. Awesome. So you know, like I said, what goes in must come out. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, that's that. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a, a little bit of tea. That's you know that's the intro. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>